Hello everyone, welcome to my channel where I share tips and insights on how to live a happier and more fulfilling life. Today, I want to talk about Stoicism, a philosophy that can help you deal with narcissists and other toxic people in your life. Stoicism is a school of Hellenistic philosophy that flourished in ancient Greece and Rome. The Stoics believed that the practice of virtue is enough to achieve eudaimonia, a well-lived, flourishing life. They also taught that we should live in harmony with nature and reason, and that we should focus on what we can control and not worry about what we can't. Narcissism, on the other hand, is a self-centered personality style characterized by an excessive preoccupation with oneself and one's own needs often at the expense of others. Narcissists may show passion and charm in the early stages of dating, but they are often manipulative, exploitative, and abusive in relationships. They have an inflated sense of self-importance and entitlement, and they crave admiration and validation from others. They also lack empathy and compassion for others and they react with rage or contempt when they feel criticized or challenged. So how can Stoicism help you deal with narcissists? Well, here are eight principles that will strengthen you and protect you from their harmful influence. Know yourself. The first principle of Stoicism is to know yourself, your strengths and weaknesses, your values and goals, your passions and preferences. By knowing yourself, you can avoid being swayed by the narcissist's false promises and flattery, and you can stand up for yourself when they try to undermine or control you. You can also recognize when you are being triggered by their behavior and take steps to calm yourself down and detach from the situation. Know your enemy. The second principle of stoicism is to know your enemy, their motives and tactics their strengths and weaknesses, their fears and insecurities. By knowing your enemy, you can avoid falling into their traps and playing their games, and you can anticipate their moves and counter them effectively. You can also understand that their behavior is not personal, but rather a reflection of their own inner turmoil and dysfunction. Choose your battles wisely. The third principle of Stoicism is to choose your battles wisely, to know when to engage and when to disengage, when to confront and when to ignore, when to fight and when to walk away. By choosing your battles wisely, you can avoid wasting your time and energy on pointless arguments and drama, and you can focus on what matters most to you. You can also protect yourself from unnecessary stress and harm, and preserve your peace of mind. Control what you can control. The fourth principle of Stoicism is to control what you can control, which is mainly your own thoughts, feelings, actions, and reactions. By controlling what you can control, you can avoid being affected by the narcissist's attempts to manipulate or provoke you, and you can respond with rationality and dignity. You can also create your own happiness and fulfillment independent of the narcissist's approval or disapproval. Accept what you can't control. The fifth principle of Stoicism is to accept what you can't control, which is mainly the narcissist's thoughts, feelings, actions, and reactions. By accepting what you can't control, you can avoid being frustrated or disappointed by the narcissist's lack of change or remorse, and you can let go of any expectations or hopes that they will behave differently. You can also accept the reality of the situation as it is without denying or resisting it. Practice Gratitude the sixth principle of Stoicism is to practice gratitude for what you have rather than complaining about what you don't have or what you have lost because of the narcissist. By practicing gratitude, you can appreciate the positive aspects of your life such as your health, your family, your friends, your hobbies, your achievements, etc., and you can cultivate a positive mindset that will help you cope with any challenges or difficulties. Seek Wisdom 
The seventh principle of Stoicism is to seek wisdom from various sources such as books, mentors, role models, etc., that will help you learn from your experience with the narcissist and grow as a person. By seeking wisdom, you can gain new perspectives and insights that will help you understand yourself and others better, and you can apply the lessons you have learned to improve your life and relationships. Be virtuous. The eighth and final principle of Stoicism is to be virtuous, to live according to moral principles such as courage, justice, temperance, and wisdom. By being virtuous, you can avoid being corrupted or influenced by the narcissist's immoral and unethical behavior, and you can act with integrity and honor. You can also be a positive example and a source of inspiration for others who may be struggling with narcissists in their lives. So these are the eight principles of Stoicism that will help you deal with narcissists and other toxic people in your life. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.